I actually want to go across. I want to do the other thing. Excuse me. More and more years. <laughs> what do y'all think of CNN? CNN? Yeah. The, the Communist we, News Network? Yeah, them. Did you, did you all see the Project Veritas? They'd be great if they would just tell the truth. Yeah, absolutely. Did you guys see the Project Veritas release recently, yesterday? Pretty much proves that they're in the tank. I mean, we already knew it, but... Oh, they already knew that. There you go, Matt. I'm going to go over and trigger some more scores. <laughs> all right, let's go. You guys like Elizabeth Warren? Yeah. I like anybody that's not Trump. Anybody right. that's not Trump. Pretty much. That's pretty much it. Just anybody but Trump. What, how do you guys feel about her claiming to be Native American? Eh. Well, I mean, this, I think it's been proven she does have some. Well, it actually turned out she has less than the average American. Yeah. So it's actually. So, you know, that issue really doesn't bother me. Okay. Well, thank you. I I'm more it. bothered by what's going on overseas. What well, and what overseas is bothering you? Uh, uh, you can't really abandoning our oh, allies, sorry, people like, who have been our allies in the war. Yes, and we've abandoned them. Hey, what is this for? Okay, Nobody else here. Uh, I have a YouTube channel, <laughs> Drone Tech Politics. Okay, I'm not sure we want to be on it. I'm okay, sorry. That's fine. Thank you, though. No thank you. Sir, do you mind if I ask you a couple questions on camera? No, thanks. All right. Thank you. Do you mind if I ask you a couple well, that's questions? It. That's that. Yeah. <laughs> are you interested in interviewing? Are just asking and interviewing a little bit, just talking? Yeah, who, who are you with? I have a YouTube channel, Drone Tech Politics. You're tripping. Huh? Are you on the right or left? Uh, I probably lean right. Get the fuck out oh, of really? here. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm, a, I'm in the dialogue, though. That's I'm my really thing. shy, reclusive kind of person. Oh, right on. Me too. This is like <laughs> scary as shit. I appreciate it. <laughs> well, thank you. I appreciate your views. Yeah. Everybody's got to be nice. Yeah, I agree. You know, I agree. So we got to talk. I know. And I can't get through two sentences without saying, like, dude, shit. I know. Same you know here. I mean? I'm like I know. the worst interviewer. Yeah. I'm the worst. Yeah, me too. I'm still getting good at it. Thank good you. Luck, man. Thanks. Anybody want to tell me why you guys like Warren? Anybody? What's your favorite thing about Elizabeth Warren? Um, that she has a plan for literally everything. Well, what's your favorite plan? My favorite plan? Um, I like her plan to fix our economy of the 2% taxes. Um, I like her plan... On the rich? Yeah, on the rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like her plan on um, Medicare for all. Uh, I like her plan of erasing student debt. Um, I love all her plans, right. really. Okay. Right. And are, are you at all worried about just like paying for for like free college? I mean, that two percent free health care. If you if you tax Jeff Bezos two percent, that alone would pay for so many people's colleges. <laughs> so in general, just taxing the wealthy, I feel like would solve that. And they'd still have like most of their money. So really, it's a win-win. So do you think that uh, we should get rid of privatized health care? Or should we move towards more uh, government-controlled health care? I mean, from what I understand, it, I don't have a great understanding, um, but I think Medicare for all only works if it's completely Medicare for all. I don't think it works if you try to do an intermingling. So, as far as Yang goes, what's your like favorite Yang policy? Like, why, why do you support it? I'm a martial arts instructor. A friend of mine sent me his policy on uh, extending the Ozzy yeah. Act oh, okay. to MMA fighters. Okay. <laughs> and that made me do the deep dive and really look at everything. And I like the fact that he can solve the problems. Yeah. You know? Um, I'm hearing that at like every group. Everybody's saying that. <laughs> yeah. I'm not, I'm not real, like, 
there are a lot of Yang gangers that are about the freedom dividend. Yeah. And that like kind of took me a long time to come to terms with. Uh, so you agree with that then? I agree with it more now than I did at first. I'm still not 100% on board. Yeah. But um, I mean, it, it's existed in history for quite some time. You're talking about, uh, is that living wage? U UBI, living okay, wage, yeah. has existed in some form or fashion since the Roman Empire. Yeah. So, um, are you aware, I, and I'm not super familiar with them, but I know that it's been tried at least a few times in a few different states. It's, and it's currently in Alaska. Okay, yeah, yeah. And it's been in Alaska for about 30 years, mm -hmm. where everybody gets about a, between a thousand and two thousand dollars a month. And how does it work there? I'm really yeah. not sure about that. Uh, that is funded by oil money. Okay. Yeah. So, and then everybody just kind of gets a cut of that. You guys go. Okay. I'm not a huge fan. I don't like it one bit. But he did do some reforms from prison. He did do prison reform. He did. He by, by part of it. He's not my favorite person. I never vote for him ever. But he did do that. Which nobody, like, no recent president has done. I'm not gonna. Do you I'm think he's racist? I don't think he's friendly to people. Yeah, he's kind of a dick. He's, he's a dick. Yeah, I'm the child of an immigrant, so I don't know someone with his rhetoric. It hurts me to see someone like... Well, like, what kind of rhetoric do you mean, though, as far as, like, immigrant-related? How he portrays them as... as um, he portrays Mexicans as rapists and liars, and I'm not... I can't stand for that. Well, he when did he do that, though? There's a little... Well, hold on, let me tell you. I'm actually quite familiar with the quote, and what he actually said was... Well, well, right. He said he said <laughs> people are coming across the border illegally, and there's rapists, there's criminals, and he said some I assume are good people, but he at no time said like all Mexicans are this. But can or, you explain the fact that they have? Even he's not a great. Down, he's not very. I'm sorry. Yeah, they even count down legal. Yeah, like, like, like he says, oh, we're for legal. But then they're cutting they down every way for people down. to get into this my country. Husband, he, my husband yeah, he's made it harder. He's in IT. He's, yeah, IT. He's a, he pays his taxes. He wouldn't even be in this country if it wasn't for the fact that. We had a legal immigration. Uh, immigration yeah, because of Nobody that. Nobody wants My, everybody in the world right. to come here. Well, most countries are pretty strict, actually, about who they can come are, in. and they should be. And we we have should have the right to tell who it comes in. But at but, the same time, if we don't have enough people to, I mean, we're an aging population. Yeah. We need more people to come in, young people who are willing to do that. What's your least favorite thing about Trump? What, 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 what has Trump done that you le like the least? Well, I think I can say it in one word. He has no integrity. Okay. Uh, he campaigned with all sorts of promises about what he was going to do. All he's done is what's good for Trump. I mean, you don't think he's tried to, to fulfill his promises like no, the wall? No, I don't. No. I, th I think that all his decisions are based on what's good for him and what's good for his family. Well, I mean, everything he's done has been back, I mean, has blown back on him pretty badly, don't you think? No, I don't think it's blown back as as, as, as much as it should. Really? And who do you support for uh, 2020? Well, the reality is the election is over a year away. So say True. to say definitively this is who I've decided on is tough. Who but do you, who he, do you like? He, I like Elizabeth Warren. Okay. Uh, but I like many of the other candidates also. And what's your what would be your favorite Elizabeth Warren policy? Or what what is she what is her the policy that you like the best that really makes you I like the idea her she's when you ask her what's the first thing she wants to do she says she wants to get corruption out of government I'm not sure that's possible but I think that would be a good way to go um, I think you know she's what, what she's very uh, she's she has a plan for everything so when people ask about Elizabeth Warren she says I have a plan for that well I have a song for that I've written a musical 2020 the musical with 20 songs about all the issues we okay. care about all right. So maybe that's why I identify with her. Well, I'll get some people to go into that and check it out. All right. Thanks. Thank you. Nice talking with you. You too. Well, thank you. Real quick, last question, and this will be my kind of triggering question, but what do you think about Elizabeth Warren? It, it kind of just went away, but the fact that she claimed to be Native American, it turned out she wasn't. Well, she went and got tested. She thought she was based on what family members told her. And then when she got tested and found out she wasn't, she owned up and said, that, you know, I was wrong. A little bit later she did. At first she didn't, but a little bit later she did. <laughs> All right. Well,
Well, I'm not going to split hairs with you. I think the reality is when she found out that it wasn't part of her direct heritage, you, she acknowledged it. Do you think that if a Republican had done that, they'd have gotten off as easily? Even if they'd have come out and been like, I'm sorry. Yes. You think so? Okay. What do you, what do you think about money and like the Young Turks and the people they're getting money from? So, the Young Turks does get a lot of donations. It's primarily just you know, $10 well, they at get, a time. They get a lot of money from a lot of, you know, political... I, honestly, I'm the wrong... I don't know the finances. Oh, really? I'm the wrong person to ask. Okay. I just know that... I know people that donate 10 bucks a month and that's, you know... Well, they've gotten some money. They've gotten a lot of money from some shady people. Okay. I mean, from... I don't know. Who's okay. This? Well, from Qatar, for example. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Well, well you're yeah, wearing their button. You know what? Peace. Young Turks, yeah. is that? Oh, I never heard of the Young Turks. I never heard of the You never heard of the Young Turks? No. Be doing too good. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> well, they are actually. They're doing all right. Can, you get, can I see your sign? Yeah. Nice. What do you think about that Project Veritas release yesterday? Well, I mean, that just shows how all the corporate media is owned from the top down. They get their orders from the top down. You can't trust any of the big news corporations. You got to trust independent. They don't talk about any of the real issues. It's all all little issues they talk about. Or if you're about. going to, at least take in some of the other ones. So you can right. at least get it. Right, get, it, get, it, get a broad, uh, especially, you know, you listen to NBC, ABC, CBS, all the same, same every thing. every single night. It's all, and it's all impeach Trump, too, yep. so. Yep.